Well, the 23rd running of the Indiana Derby is just hours away, and our coverage starts right here on Wish TV. It's underway at the Indiana Grand in Shelbyville. Our very own Charlie Clifford joins us now. Charlie, how is it looking out there with the thoroughbreds? Julian, how do you think it looks, my man? I mean, we're 70 and sunny. The packed house is on its way in. The first of 10 races are about to get underway here at Indiana Grand. The Indiana Derby edition number 23. We need to welcome in a very important member of the Indiana Grand family, Peter Lowry. Pete, how do you, you're a California guy. Now you're in Indiana. How big is today across this state? Well, also, I want to say, Charlie, by the way, no one else got the memo that you and I, that we're supposed to be wearing blue today. Not I know bad. it's crimson and gold, but <laughs> we, we, we digress. Actually, I'm also happy because I've been part of the Wish family uh, for the last, uh, this will be my third uh, Indiana Derby with uh, you, of course, Rachel and Anthony Calhoun. Indiana Derby is very, very important because as far as the three-year-olds are concerned, there's a first half of the year, there's a second half of right. the year. And those second half of the year horses are developing right now. Take, for instance, last year's winner, Cupid. Cupid won here, went on to win the Grade 2 West Virginia Derby, and then went on to be a Grade 1 winner this year at Santa Anita and the Gold Cup. So what it's showing you is Indiana racing is alive and well. You heard it from Pete. We know IRAP's the big name tonight. Absolutely. Do you expect to hear the biggest roar? for IRAP when this thing's all said and done. No question about it. He just took the Ohio Derby. He was a winner of the Bluegrass at Keeneland. I know there's a lot of people thinking the turnaround is going to be tough, but I'll believe it when I see it. I saw the horse today. He looks like a million bucks for <laughs> Team O'Neill. Fun fact, by the way, uh, the owners, Redham Racing, yeah. Doug O'Neill, and Mario Gutierrez, have been together for not one, but two Kentucky Derby winners in NyQuest, and I'll have another. There you go. That's a heck of an, an endorsement, Pete. Appreciate the time. Look forward to working with you tonight. We'll see you in a couple hours. Absolutely. Thank you, my friend. And again, Wish TV is your home this evening. Beginning at 9 o'clock, we'll have the Oaks and the Derby for you live right here on Channel 8. Jules?